Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of 31 Days of Capture One. In today's tutorial, I'll take you through how to start in Capture One after installing, how to create a catalog, import your first set of images both from your external drive or from somewhere on your machine or from an SD card because mostly you guys will be importing from your SD cards. So we are in Capture One now. To create a new catalog, you just go to File, New Catalog. So with that, you give your catalog a name. So in this case, I'm going to make it 31 days. And then you select a location for it. I have a naming convention and then you know, File Management, which we will take care of in uh, another video. Now I have a folder for each year, so we are in 2020, so I have a folder for 2020 where I save all my catalogs. So it's already there, I'll click OK. So that gives us a new window where you see, if you look on the left here, we don't have anything, it's just in catalog. So we have our catalog. If you look up here, it's 31 days. That's the name of our catalog. If you go in Finder, you will see a catalog there with the name 31 days. So now we have our catalog. Now, we are first of all, we are going to import from an SD card, which is the commonest thing that we do. Some use a, a card reader or something. I use a MacBook Pro, so I have an SD card slot right there. And I have my Capture One set so that once I insert an SD card, it pops up the import window. So over here, we have a couple of options. The first one is import from where we have our image coming from. Is that me? Jeez. Scroll. Good. You guys don't have to see me that way. <laughs> okay, so first is the source, import from. Now you see it's, uh, I use a Nikon D750, so it automatically names the card like that. We have it here. Now, if we were picking from a different location, then we choose folder and then navigate them. We'll do that shortly, but for now, we are picking from the SD card. So I just enable this include subfolder. So in case there are other folders within that folder that contain images that I want to see, it will pick them up. Now the second option here is import to where you want your images to be sent to. We choose folder and obviously you want to move your images from your card to a new location. So that's exactly what we are doing. So as you can see, I have my, this is my file structure. As I said, I will explain that in another video. So just make sure you're subscribed and turn on the notification so you don't miss any of my uploads. Go to 2020 now. I'm going to create a new folder in 2024, this uh, whole series. So click new folder and then we name it 31 days. Okay, so we have 31 days here. We go to set as import folder. So we see from Nikon D750 to destination 31 days. Now you can create a subfolder by giving it a name here and it will pick it. So for our first import, I'm going to name it, um, it's uh, something from the beach. So I'll name it beach and it will automatically create a, a subfolder within the 31 days folder called beach. We can use tokens to create you know, something automatic, but we'll get to that also later. Now, after that, you don't necessarily need to do much here. I have a place uh, under metadata where I put my copyright and then a description. So here I have at Ghana Near Photography, that's the copyright. And then the description is shot by, that's my name, Michael Kweko Aye. So basically, this is all you do here. Then there's this uh, option here, eject card. I always wanted to eject the card from once I'm done copying because I don't want to accidentally eject the card, pull it out without ejecting, or I don't have to go down there and then 
eject it before taking. I want Capture One to do it for me automatically. Now, I have 1,643 images on this card. Reason I have all these images is this is my 128 gig, which is my backup. My camera has two SD card slots. So I have one backup, which is always the biggest card. And then the second slot is where I put my 30. I have a couple of 32 gigs where I take out copy and then all that that uh, 128 gig usually doesn't come out of the camera it's usually my backup so if i was importing all these images i'll just click import all but in this case i don't want all the image i want specific images so we'll scroll through and then pick up the images i think those images are way down here yes so these are the images i want so we start from somewhere here okay starts from here so i select it and then it works just like you know doing your basic selection so hold down shift and then click on the last image so you select a range from the first selected image to the last selected image so here you see it says 148 of 1643 images selected so now I'll go ahead and then click on import 148 images bam and voila it starts importing our uh, images as you can see here with the activity window here telling us we have about five seconds left for the previews to be generated and about a minute for the images to be imported so it's done importing now if you look on the left we have this here you just have to open it up till we get to that so you can see the folder structure over here from 2020 to 31 days to beach now if we come to the left here we have all our 148 images so a quick scroll through and we have successfully imported all our images to capture one so congratulations this is your first step in capture one creating a catalog and then importing your images so now i'll take you through how to import from a location on your internal hard drive so let's do that you go to file and then import image that's one way the other way is just click on import right here and it brings the same thing here so we'll look for somewhere on our internal hard drive so i did this shoot with a uh, creamy so let's go here open so now we have our source let's go to our destiny so our destiny we still have 31 days capture one keeps track of you know what you do your last uh, used location it will still keep it there so now the only thing we need to change here under subfolder is creamy so that's her name she's a makeup artist so we just change it to cream so it will automatically create a folder within 31 days called creamy now there are 83 images i want all 83 images imported so i'll just go ahead and then click import all so here we are it's moved them from the space we have on um, whichever folder it was in it's moved it to a new folder that we have created i hope you understand so it will go, still go ahead and then create uh, previews for this so if you click there we go now if we come to the left here we have two folders under 31 days which is beach and then creamy see how easy it is now we can just quickly scroll through this and zoom in and out these are raw images no processing has been done to them as you can see here no processing has been done we will be working with these images throughout the 31 days of capture one and then beyond so you'll be seeing them often so these are some of the images we got from the beach and our imports are over so let's do a quick recap we imported these images from an sd card i hope you can do that by yourself now and then we imported these from somewhere on a hard drive to this place so these are the two ways of uh, importing into capture one if this has been helpful to you don't forget to 
like the video or if you have any comments don't forget to leave it in the comment section and if there is anything you know you think i've left out or any contribution you want to make don't forget to do that in the comment section i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for watching